Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got a unique, interesting idea, I think. This is the upgradable vault suit. So, what this mod does is it attempts to make the vault suit a piece of armor, or clothing, I guess, that you can wear throughout the entire game by making it upgradable throughout the game. Obviously, you can put ballistic weave on there, and that obviously counts for something as it is. But through normal circumstances, you have to do the railroad quest and various other things, unless you mod the ability to just do it for free. So, what we can do here is we can go here to the chemistry station, we go down here to the upgrade vault suit. So, the first thing you're going to start out with here is the Tinker's vault suit. So, you need your base vault suit, the one that you start the game with on, right? So, this is your base vault suit, right? You get one wrench, one hammer, one duct tape, one scissors, and the vault suit, and you can craft the Tinker's vault suit. So, we get the Tinker's vault suit. That That is our first little thing we got going on here. So we got to go down to T here. Tinkerer's Vault Suit. We put the Tinkerer's Vault Suit on. It's a Tinkerer's one. We got like extra pieces of equipment on there and stuff too. It does look quite nice. You get a little hammer, a little duct tape, a little bit of like welding goggles, right? Like it is an upgraded version of the Vault Suit. Obviously, um, if we take, I believe, I'm going to show this off each step of the way. We're going to be really thorough with this mod here, okay? So if we go to the armor workbench here, we can still take this Tinkerer's vault suit and put ballistic weave on there if you wanted to right so it's not like you're missing out on that upgrade but we can get some upgrades along the way so you got the tinker's vault suit you've been exploring around the wasteland right you've been doing stuff and things but you're starting to feel a little bit underpowered right you're like what do i do next you go down here and once you've hit a certain section of the game you get some military fatigues you get five cloth ten leather two rubber you need to take your tinker's vault suit and your military fatigues that you find out in the world, which is not that hard to find pretty early on, and you have armorer, you can craft the next better version. As you see here, the comparison here is we're gaining some defensive stats as well as two endurance. So we'll craft that real quick, um, and we'll put it on our character here. So the Wastelander's Vault Suit. We've upgraded it. We have some kind of like military clothing on top. There's some tears in our pants there, but you know, the Vault Suit's underneath. We're kind of like, you know, upgrading the thing, make it a little bit more defensive. We combine the military fatigues with the vault suit, right? Very cool looking effect, right? Like we are building this thing up. And then you say you get to the next level. You're like, I need to, I need to upgrade my vault suit. What is the next level I do? So this one requires Kellogg's outfit. So once you've beaten Kellogg, you, like it literally is designed around a story circumstance where you're like, you're this, not a level, not a, like, I mean, obviously you need the armor or two perk, but like, the, the, it's a certain level, obviously, but like, it's like a certain point in the game you can do this. So if you can take your Kellogg's outfit and combine that with some leather and the vault suit you got here, you can get it even better. You keep the two endurance buff and you gain plus two strength buff and even more defensive stats from radiation, energy, and physical resistance. So we go here and it's now called the reinforced vault suit. So we have a lot of the Kellogg's aspect on top of it. Like we're building this thing up. We got Kellogg's little arm piece there. Kellogg's gloves is part of our outfit here. Um, we definitely got some new, like, the shoulder strap stuff is definitely the main parts of the Kellogg outfit we got going on here. Maybe we got some more pouches and stuff, too, like the back belt pouches here. Um, definitely look like some new stuff on there. So we're upgraded the bolts, too, right? Obviously, I'm kind of going through this quickly um, to, to show it off and stuff, right? But, like, obviously, this would be over the course of the whole game, right? And then you still want to put a ballistic move on there. So you're at the next stage, though. You're like, okay, what's the next, the survivor's vault suit, the max level vault suit, where you get plus two charisma, plus two strength, plus two endurance. You need armor or three perk. As you can see here, listed right in front of you, you need Max's battle coat. So this is pretty in-game stuff, right? You're not going to get Max's battle coat until you're pretty close to the end of the story of the game if you want it to be, right? But say you get this, you get the survivor's vault suit. We're going to craft the survivor's vault suit. This is as high as this tier goes, um, tier four. Um... So we're going to go Survivor's Vault Suit. So we have Max's Battle Coat now on there as well. Combined with all the other things. Kellogg's thing is still in there. With with as minimal amount of clipping as we can kind of get here, this is the fully upgraded set, right? So we can all, I can, I'll show you this again, right? We go to, And then we go to the Armor Workbench, say, presuming um, you have been, you know, the ability to get Ballistic Weave and put Ballistic Weave on there. Ignore my Ballistic Weave Mark V. I, I got a downloaded a mod that made it so it just made all your resistances too high. But say you put this on there, you, there's pretty much all, like a raw regular Ballistic Weave Mark V. You would have pretty much all the damage resistances you need. Plus you get the two Charisma, two Strength, two Endurance, and you have a fully upgraded Vault Suit, right? Like it just is as good as it gets, right? And it has like all your little pieces of outfits and stuff that you found throughout your journey, right? You got your Max's battle coat that you like wearing proudly on top of your vault suit. You got your military fatigues you found and put on there. You got your little pieces of duct tape and crafting equipment you got pretty early on in the game. You got Kellogg stuff sitting on there. It's kind of like a vault suit that tells, that goes through the story with you and tells a story. Obviously, you know, not everybody's going to find this to their personal preference. I think it's a very cool idea, at least. 
like you could add more tiers maybe to it. I'm not saying that you have to by any means, but this is a, this is a cool mod as a way it is. But like, it's something that can be expanded upon. But I like it in the sense that it's an armor set that tells a story along with the story that you're playing through a Fallout 4, which I find quite interesting and kind of a cool effect. Um, so, you guys should definitely check out this one for yourselves if you're interested in having an upgradable vault suit that will upgrade with you as you play throughout the game and kind of like realistically apply pieces of gear that you get throughout the story. I think that's very cool. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure you check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked that to the Bethesda on net page or the Nexus mod page or you can find this mod for yourselves. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you didn't like the video, that sucks for you. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Whatever it may be. And I'll see you in the next episode.